Welcome back. Today brings changes to our weather in two things. One will be some warmer temperatures later this afternoon as a warm front approaches, and the second will be increasing clouds with raindrops returning for the evening hours. We're going to stay completely dry through 4 p.m. and it's after 4 o'clock that we're going to start to increase those rain percentages here across Michigan. Mainly going to be an evening overnight and daybreak Thursday rainfall event and then all eyes on Friday. Friday will end up I think being our greatest weather impact for this week as a pretty good cold front begins to move through the Great Lakes region as we wrap up this work and school week. Going hour by hour into future track for today. Again, we're keeping the sky clear this morning and we're going to stay clear. I think even on into the lunch hour and recess time frame and check out by 3 p.m. All of Michigan getting into the 60s. Clouds though, those will start to build and as those clouds build, once we get past 4 o'clock, that's when rain percentages start to uptick as scattered showers arrive on into Michiana and we'll be in and out of pockets of some heavier downpours tonight towards daybreak Thursday morning and I think as we head towards Thursday afternoon, we finally start to shut off the waterworks just briefly. So what are we looking at for rainfall totals tonight through Thursday? Most areas here are going to get a nice drink to maybe even a good bucket of water quarter of an inch to around three quarters of an inch of water. We're still phrasing it though between now and the end of the weekend. A good deal of one to two inches of water here for much of Michigan. Highest pockets of water over across parts of Illinois where they could be looking at two to three inches of the waterworks for this upcoming weekend. First alert 10 day. There's Friday 66 degrees 80% chance there of afternoon and evening heavy downpours few gusts up to around 30 miles an hour as well as a few lightning bolts as well. Then as we head on into the weekend, we cool down behind that cold front into the middle 50s and we'll be in and out of showers both Saturday right on into Sunday. Don't forget, you can also find the first alert forecast from the WNDU weather team every morning in the South Bend Tribune as part of our partnership with the Tribune. It's another way we alert you to changing weather in Michigan. All right, farmers are really trying to get harvest in and this rain is not helping. No, and again, today is going to be mostly dry. It's not until after four o'clock that we start to impact those uh, plans, but plan for rain starting this evening all the way through the weekend. Yay. <laughs> At least it's no not other way enough. To put Got a complete wash. Right. Out. Where are we sitting with the amount of rain? Like, are we good? I'm going through the stats right now, but okay. we're going to likely end up getting about a month's worth of rainfall, I think, between tonight and <laughs> Sunday into Monday. Good thing I bought that wow. new sump pump. Get the rain jacket ready. <laughs> you right. know, and I also want to check in with you on the fall foliage. What is our peak in the area? So I know you have that. You're yeah. going to be talking about that coming up. All right. Stay Thanks, tuned, Andrew. folks, and try to stay positive, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Hey, still to come at 5.